Hello YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives and Lights with a video review of the Claris XT11S. Yes, that's the box that it comes in. Uh, 1100 lumens maximum, quite bright, very high quality light. I will include links on where to get it, especially uh, gearbest.com, especially if you're outside the US, that's the best place. All right, it comes with that holster right, with the Velcro retaining flap. Also comes with O-rings, a lanyard, and a USB recharging cable. At a closer look at the light, you see it has a crenellated bezel. It's got an anti-roll collar. You see the pocket clip. It does tail stand. Yeah, it's a pretty well-designed light. And you see the bezel there. Yeah, and the recharging port cover there. All right, size comparison for you. On the left is a through night TN12, and you see it's around the same length as the TN12. However, it has a wider head assembly and reflector. All right, and those two lights next to it are uh, Claris lights that I previously reviewed. I will include links to the reviews of those lights, but it's very interesting because you got, they all take 18650 batteries. You got one, the next one takes two. All right, and then the last one takes three of that same battery. So check out those reviews. This light has three switches, okay, a side switch, and then it has two tail switches, a round tail switch, and then another tail switch, which is kind of like a lever. All right, now you can turn the light on with the round tail switch, and it also has a momentary on feature where if you half press it and keep it depressed, right, and then when you release it, right, it'll turn off. So momentary on, a tactical feature. It also has momentary strobe, all right, strobe warning. The other tail switch gives you momentary strobe. It'll strobe, right, until you release it. That is a very good feature, very good tactical feature. Now the side switch is a mode select switch. You can cycle through the four brightness levels, right? As, and you see I'm doing that right there. You can also turn the light on if it's off with the side switch. Okay, strobe warning. If you double tap the side switch, that's another way that you can get to the strobe. This also has a shortcut to the moonlight mode. If you long press the side switch when it is off, it'll go to the lowest mode or the moonlight mode that you see right there. This light also has two other uh, mode cycles available, and it's all explained in those diagrams and the instructions you see there. But basically, it also has a hunting mode, which eliminates the momentary strobe, because you don't want to strobe when you're hunting. And it also has an assault mode, which basically focuses on the brightest uh, setting and the strobe. Okay, so a SWAT team assault mode so this is highly customizable. I mean, three different ones to choose from, all detailed in the instructions. To install or replace the battery, you just unscrew that tail assembly there. All right, and you can also remove that anti-roll collar if you so choose. This comes with a battery. That's the Claris uh, 18650 battery. Very nice that you get the battery uh, with it. All right, now it also has a battery charge indicator. You see that light on the side switch. It'll be green because it's fully charged and red when it's running out. That is the uh, charging port cover. The battery can be recharged inside the light. Right? You just uh, hook up that USB cable to your computer's USB or any USB and you can recharge the battery inside the light. Now let's roll in some outside demo footage, some beam shots as well as long range shots and of course You'll want to stay tuned for the exciting uh, cat that runs across the road in the middle of the night uh, segment. So here it comes. Starting off with close range beam shots on the old testing board. Uh, yeah, it was even raining when I filmed this. All right, demonstrating the four brightness levels. All right, and that 1100 lumens, uh, that's pretty bright, quite a bright light. Okay, the uh, strobe demo is coming up, so strobe warning. It's a pretty, uh, pretty impressive strobe. All right, there is the disco effect in the rain. 
Yeah, it's a pretty hyperactive strobe. That's how I would describe that. All right, back to the highest mode. And as you can see, when I pan around here, I mean, it is bright, like close up. I mean, you can, you can see every little detail. All right, we got some longer range stuff coming up. This is from the second story window. And notice, I mean, you can see it's still raining and this is cutting through the rain. Even reaching farther to uh, those chairs in the distance. Let's zoom in so you can see, you know, if you're down there, I mean, it's very bright. I mean, it basically brings the daylight. The farther targets, again, the chairs and then panning around. I'm going to show you some uh, vegetation off to the side. Now that's, uh, you know, that's larger than a person. If there was a person there, you would see everything. Okay, a closer range. All right, you see that big chunk of wood, right, which I call my bench because I use it as such. But zooming in, so yeah, at backyard distances, I mean, down there, it's it's daylight daylight level brightness. Now this is a cat that was sitting in the middle of the road. I slowed down the footage so you could see it. It has a raccoon tail, but trust me, it's a cat. If you look closely, it's wearing a collar, and when you you can see it turned back. Now this ran because of a car. Okay, when you see it look back, you can tell it's a cat. Also from its stride. That's the car that actually spooked it. I did not spook it. You can see it running in the underbrush there. Okay, so hunting critters with a camera. All right, and this is out in the deserted wilderness. This is the bank of a stream panning around. And you can see it is still raining on me. And this is doing well, I mean, considering the rain is my bike. That's the stream. I left the volume on so maybe you can hear the... Uh, the running water and some frogs right but this is doing pretty well I mean it's cutting through all that uh, condensation and moisture in the air to the far end of the stream you see the vegetation so altogether a pretty bright light and we are back okay final conclusions on this light it is very high quality it has so many features uh, that you would want it comes with it it comes with a battery it's USB rechargeable. It has that battery life indicator built into it. The interface makes perfect sense. It has a separate switch for the momentary strobe, which is exactly how I would design a tactical light. Uh, it's got momentary on. It can tail stand. Um, it's got a shortcut to the moonlight. You know, the, the interface makes perfect sense. It's got three different mode cycles, so you can program the one you want. Uh, the anti-roll collar allows for uh, the cigar-type cigar grip if you want. Uh, it's got that nice bezel. Uh, yeah, and it comes with uh, the battery, the holster, the O-rings. I mean, this thing has just all the bells and whistles. It's very high quality, very well made. So yeah, I do recommend it. I'll include all the links on where to get it, including uh, GearBest.com. All right, but I hope you enjoyed seeing this light. I'm impressed with it. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights.